What do you do when your girl loves Jesus more than she loves you? Yeah, you don't need to say anything, Noob Noob. She we just know. needs that D, baby. That big D. The good D? Are we talking about the D of our Lord and Savior? Take James? her away from that J and give her the D. No Yeezy, just DZ. Just the DZ. So we don't really have an article or anything to talk about, but what we are going to talk about is what happens, what do you do, if your girl leaves you for Jesus. When your bitch is kneeling, but not for blowies. <laughs> for glowies or praise. Okay. For praises. Praises. Praising <laughs> Jesus. So I guess this all kind of started because we we know we, we come from a place of facts. And faith. And faith. And now there's nothing necessarily wrong with Jesus or going to Jesus. Or being with Jesus. Unless you're gay. Jesus doesn't love you. That's not what the Pope says. Wh oh, really? Yes. That's what Chick-fil-A says, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> you you go by the... Uh, the uh, uh, Pope Chick-fil-A. The Pope of Chick-fil-A. So, anyway. So, we know we knew this girl. And uh, yeah, let's just say she had a hard time in life. How many times did she walk in on her boyfriend plowing uh, the fields? At least twice, probably. Yes, she watched as her living boyfriend that she would buy truffle butter for. Yep. She walked in on him at least two times, giving the raw dog to other chicks. And not Jesus, just other chicks. Yep. Jesus was not invited to this three-way. He, he was giving her heels to Jesus. He was heels up for Jesus? Mm -hmm. Or she was? No. She was heels to Jesus. Yes. So that's her that was her place where she lived. She and she had nowhere else to go. So she stayed with this man mm -hmm. through thick and thin until I guess she got to the point where Jesus told her to move out. Well, no, technically she moved out. She wasn't strong enough with Jesus. She moved back in. Oh. Then after like two more years, Jesus took hold and took the wheel and, and <laughs> set her free. So she went from being an Instagram, like, sh did she do, like, shopping or, like, she would sell clothes? I don't know what she would do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she did. She did do that. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, she was, like, I guess she needed money. So she was selling all of her clothes, and she would, like, model stuff and put it on yeah. on the Instas. But then she, she got a bright idea, and she changed her channel to a Jesus channel. So we were just, we were thinking and we're like, why? Because all it is now is Jesus quotes and it's like, if I die tomorrow, I know that Jesus loves me and I will wear this sexy attire for Jesus. I will do my makeup Swallow with little diamonds. I will put diamonds in the corner of my eyes for Jesus. I will shine bright like a conflict diamond for Jesus. Yes, so that's where we boiled. Where she's she's moved on, and she's she has a love affair with Jesus now. And we're trying to reach out to all the men who have lost their bitches to Jesus. We just want to know how do you feel about this, and how maybe you can get your bitches back. <laughs> so so if you had a girl where you were plowing on the sidelines, but then Jesus took your main girl. What do you do next? <laughs> How do you handle that? Get a rosary bead. Bride of Jesus. Wrap it around your penis. I don't think that cure is enough. And take her to Sunday church. Yes. <laughs> so I, this whole situation is very weird. Like, I, and you've seen this phenomenon in other places, like born again virgin chicks, right? Don't get is that, that one either. You don't get that one either. No. What, like, what is that? They're like, I used to be on the streets. But now I'm, I'm only doing sheets. it in the sheets Yeah, with Jesus. <laughs> like, it doesn't grow back. I have heard of girls getting surgery for this. What? Yeah, where they get their thing stitched back up. Oh, God. Yeah, so then that way. Oh, no. They're straight up for Jesus. Saving it for That's Jesus. That's a thing? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. You can. You can do that. Yes. You can get stitched. All it is is like two stitches. What the? F chip 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 chip. That's Stitch it right back super up. Super weird. Since this girl doesn't have enough money, but she does have quite a few Instagram followers. She do does. you think? Cause she's good enough looking where you'd be like, this girl isn't just a Jesus fan. She could be a fan of more than that. She could be. She could be an Do only you, fan. What if she has a, a what if she has an OJF? Only Jesus fans. <laughs> Is that a thing? You could probably make money selling Jesus that? feet pics or something. Je would Jesus allow like you to give up feet using your feet to then read Bible verses or something? Like there's there's a way to monetize that, I think. Yeah, cuz that's a lot of what she does now. <clears throat> now she reads Bible verses. Or just Although or them. dances like to to writing like music and writing on the screen about Bible verses and this is like hee 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 oh oh Jesus I feel like you're you're she's not going into the untapped market of nude Jesus chick nude Jesus like, chick you could buy like one ninety nine see me naked reading a Bible verse like, <laughs> I'm sure people would do that I don't know if Jesus would allow that I'm sure there's some weird priest that would be into that. Some loophole. Yeah, they're like, well, we can't actually touch them, but we can pay for them to watch them. I don't know. It's very strange because then she'll just start quoting things at you about how she's like, you might leave me. Like one day she just walks up to you and she goes, you might leave me, but I know a man who never will. <laughs> that's when you hit her. And that's Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and that is when you backhand her right away. <laughs> Take you to you to take her right back. Smack the Jesus right out of her. Right out of her. Yeah, it's it's very bizarre, and we just felt like we should discuss this because it's a real life phenomenon. We saw it in it's real time. It is a problem. Girls going back to Jesus. Do you feel bad for her though because she got cheated on so many times? Nope, not now. Now that she's gone full blown Jesus tard, <laughs> she went full blown G tard. G the, big, the big J, not J the big G. G tard. I don't know. Not the big G. Jesus tard. Yes. So she's gone full for she went Jesus. Jesus tarded. You never go full Jesus tarded. Do there's no way she's not slapping skins anymore though, is there? I would imagine. Is she reformed? She's getting her back cheeks plowed. Probably. By who? By Jesus? I assume so, or anyone that's a conduit of Jesus. <laughs> She 100% will be taken advantage of again. That oh, is yeah. a given. Yeah. Give so all she has to do is find a guy who's like, I'm hitting it for Jesus. Yeah. I'm at second J -date base. That's all you need. That's not what J-Date is. Oh, it's Jewish date. Never yes. mind. There Christian is like. Mingle. There, there you go. Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle. Yeah, but I feel like even what she's doing is like exploitative because she's got her makeup like done up. With like little diamonds and things in her eyes and like big old, uh, f maybe fake eyelashes. What is she just she dresses very conservatively now. Yes. Before, not so much. When she was selling off all of her clothes. That is true. I forgot about that. I know it's very hard for you folks because we we've we're not drawing. We don't have a picture of this girl. We don't. It's just random. Random girl you've never met before. Yeah. Barely easy. I'm sure there's like, if you, you could apply this to a girl, you know, I sh I'm sure. Barely breezy. There's always going to be a, a, not a Jewish girl, <laughs> a Jesus girl. I don't know. I don't think I've ever met. Maybe I have met a Jesus girl. There's a Jesus. That's usually what happens. They get scorned so bad. They fall back to the only man in their life that matters. Jesus. And I think that's fair. Do you think she's wrecked for life? She's got to be approaching 30 at this point. She's not doing great. So her, her biological clock has got to be ringing off the hook. She's not doing great. How do you know that, though? Do we even know that she still lives in the area? We don't I have know no that idea. Either. She could be on some cult island for all we know. I have, uh, I, yeah, not sure. That's a good question. So have you ever had a Jesus girl in your life? What do you do to remedy it? How do you handle that? What do you do? What do you do? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, check out our podcast. We live stream it here on YouTube and Rumble. Well, we live stream it on YouTube. We also air it on Rumble. It's a, it's a good time. Had by all. We do it Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also join us audio version on iTunes. 
and uh, join the channel for one dollar a month instead of feeding a starving child you can feed a starving noob noob who look at help, how much he can put in that mouth who will help reform your broken women to jesus he will take send them, them my way and i'll heal them ah uh, yeah only if they're orthodox or jewish either one your choice but in the meantime that's all you got from us but we are on to the next one